Rob Farr found the first victims in the woods, half buried near dead end dirt roads. The next few washed up on the shores of the local reservoir. All were female, all were tall, some six feet and more. All had been knifed in the stomach. All had long cartilaginous snouts. The victims far found were American paddlefish and they died for a culinary passion that dates back thousands of years. Both paddlefish and sturgeon grow slowly and live for decades. They're the old growth trees of their ecosystems. A few weeks harvest can take a century to heal. People have loved caviar so much and for so long that they fished, they fished most of the sturgeon out of the Caspian Sea twice. They fished them out of the rivers of Western Europe. And in a 20 year long frenzy at the turn of the last century, they fished them out of East Coast rivers. Now the caviar chase is in its end game and the caviar underground has moved to the Ozarks. Ozark fishermen admire them for their size and strength, but they are most famous for their bloodline. They are related to sturgeon, the family of fish that supplies the world with caviar. Like sturgeon, female paddlefish bloat with tiny eggs. A single paddlefish can contain 10 pounds of roe, worth as much as $40,000 when labeled and sold as high-grade Russian caviar. Mm -hmm.